Hello, I'm Emily Winter and welcome to this month's Two Minute Tip. I'm going to be talking you through how to mask out cloud from Landsat 8 data. Landsat 8 now provides a QA band, which looks like this, which has different levels or pixel values for different levels of cloud, which are explained in landsat.usgs.gov website. So you have the pixel value, whether it's likely to be cloud or not, or snow or ice. So we've used this to create a model for you. This model is available on our Spatial Modeler website, and it allows you just to press Run, and it'll prompt you to input your multispectral data, your QA data, and designate your output file. Click OK, and then you just click OK, and that'll run. So what's happening here is we have a threshold here, a criteria operator, which picks out all the pixel values that are likely to be cloud in the QA band and turns them into a pixel value of zero. And everything else, all the things that you want, are now a pixel value of one. This is then multiplied by the original multispectral image. So everything that you want is multiplied by one, so it stays the same value, and everything you don't want is multiplied by zero, therefore becoming zero. It's easy enough to make your own model to mask anything you want just by adding a criteria and a multiply and making sure that your criteria designates the values that you want to be one and the values that you don't want to be zero. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to open up my masked version here and turn off these so you don't see them in the background. There you go. You can see that it's masked out all the cloud in that whole landsat. Thank you for watching this month's two-minute tip.